Hey guys, welcome up to our new course, uh, Project Management, Project Portfolio Management Case Studies in the Pharmaceutical Industry. Uh, let me give you a quick overview of uh, things I will cover today. Uh, I will start this course by uh, introduction to Project Portfolio Management. Obviously, I'm not going to go very deep uh, into the uh, you know entire domain, but I'm just going to give you some uh, highlights. Then a quick overview of the pharma industry. You know, the state it is in, what is projected to happen. And then we will look at three project portfolio management case studies, uh, basically three European pharma companies, two larger ones, one smaller ones. And then we will close it out by summarizing what we found. Uh, before we move on, I just wanted to thank you for signing up. Uh, please join my online community, thinktankconsulting.ca forward slash apply. Uh, do check out my other uh, online courses, uh, Advanced Project Management, Project Portfolio Management, and a couple of Business Analysis courses. Uh, very quick introduction of who I am and what I do. My name is Jamal. I'm a founder and the president of a company called Think Tank Consulting. We're based in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, but operate throughout the world. Uh, considered to be an expert in project management, project portfolio management, and business analysis slash requirements engineering. Uh, author of three books, Delivering Exceptional Project Results, Project Scope Management, and Project Portfolio Management in Theory and Practice. Uh, you're welcome to check them out on Amazon. Now, in order to save some time for us, I'm going to let you take advantage of the pause button on this video while I move forward uh, to continue with the presentation. Uh, some of my clients are listed here, uh, the most glamorous ones being the United States Department of Defense, Department of National Defense of Canada, Canadian Coast Guard. Again, I'm going to let you use pause button of this video. If you want to learn more about some of my clients, with your permission, I'm going to move on. Uh, let's talk about target audience for this course. Uh, the usual suspects are project and program managers because you are the layer between the projects that are happening and the decision makers at the top of your organizations. You are the ones supplying information. Uh, C-level executives because they're the ones who are ultimately making go-kill decisions on projects. Functional department directors and managers because A, you very frequently act as uh, project champions. You want some projects implemented. Yet on the other hand, you're the ones supplying resources uh, to these projects. Sales and marketing people, because they're the ones usually interacting with customers coming back and saying, wouldn't it be really cool if we could do this? Uh, directors of PMO, directors of project management, directors of portfolio management, because they're the ones usually responsible for implementation of project portfolio management and making sure portfolios run smoothly. Uh, what to expect from this course? Uh, overview of current project portfolio management domain at a high level. Analysis of the current pharma sector. Uh, three successful project portfolio management models implemented at international pharma companies. Analysis of the models and their comparison to the current state of affairs. Uh, finally, uh, some contact information uh, and my uh, presence in social media. Uh, let me start from the bottom. Uh, thinktankconsulting.ca is my website. It gets fed into RSS feed, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, uh, sometimes into YouTube channel. Uh, whichever media you prefer, please follow me there. Send me an invitation to connect on LinkedIn. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, email me at jamalathinktankconsulting.ca. Also a heads up for you, I also have a portfolio of more basic courses uh, that have been placed on Udemy, so you can check out that page as well. So hopefully I'll see you soon in the actual course. Bye.